also found myself like that. Like, Lord, like, why do I feel dry? Mm. And Lord was like, have you, have you been with me? Yeah. <laughs> You feel dry because you haven't spent time with me, like yeah. you know. Uh, and so that's that's that's. Really I want I want to talk about that though because yeah. we want to spend time with the Lord so that we could be useful, so we could be fruitful. But we also want to spend time with the Lord just to spend time with the Lord. Yeah. So can you give us an example, or just even speak to the delight that can come with intimacy? Yeah, because I think. God wants to use us, but I don't think that he wants us to have a relationship with him just so we can be used. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? I think that he wants a relationship with us because he loves us. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think that because when we think about being used by God, it's not that he wants to use us because he needs us. Right? Mm-hmm. God doesn't need us. He prefers to use us because of his goodness. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, he can be he's self-sufficient by himself. Mm-hmm. Right? But, but I, I do think that ultimately the Lord wants us to be close to him, not to, not to merely be used, but because being close to him is the best thing for us. Mm. Mm-hmm. If he's a, cause God is just not some God. He's a father. Mm. Right. That's good. Right. And so like, I want the best for my children. I want the best for my children. Mm-hmm. And so God is saying, I want the best for y'all too. Yeah. That's why you should be with me. Yeah. I'm literally the best for you. Yeah. Like you, you lack joy because you haven't been with me. You lack uh, 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 peace because you haven't been with me. You, you're selfish because you haven't spent time with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you lack patience with your children because you, you, you haven't spent time and meditated on the fact that I've been patient with you. Like all of the things that you lack, right? And I don't want you to lack these things. Mm-hmm. It's because you haven't been with me. And so I think God wants us to, to spend that time with him because he knows he's literally the best thing for us. That's good because it's in the secret place. It's in the intimacy. It's in the devotion. It's in the time with God that he fills you with himself. Mm-hmm. And by filling you with himself, that spills over into everything that you do. Yeah. Right? Because when, when you have any kind of deficiency, so for example... When you don't feel, I'm going to use one that I struggle with the most. When you don't feel secure, you kind of move with an insecurity where the things that you do become the things that give you security. So it could be the preaching that makes me feel secure. Right? Yeah. It could be the praise that makes me feel secure. It could be being mean is a source of security for some people. Because yeah. it's like... A defense. I, yeah, I don't want you to think I'm weak. So let me let me deflect, let me like stiff arm you because that makes me feel secure. Yeah, or but, it makes me look strong. Yeah, which is a source of... Yeah, I don't know. So like when you, when you meet with the Lord and say, God, I feel insecure. Mm-hmm. I don't feel safe. I don't, I don't feel cared for. I don't, I don't... Like when you tell him that, then you give him the opportunity to be that for you, mm. f- for him to be your refuge. That's good. For him to be your strong tower, That's for good. him to be your security, for him to be a rock. Yeah. And so that when you, you leave the next day, now when you preach, you don't preach for security. Mm. You preach to serve. Yeah. Now when you're in your relationships, you you don't have to stiff arm people because you're, you're secure. And yeah. so I think, I am guess I'm saying there's a sense in which the delight that God is able to give us in time with him then kind of clarifies everything that we do for him. That's good. 